Welcome to the Ultimate Sports Blog Podcast. Today is Monday, December 17th, 2018. Today I'm going to recap yesterday's NFL games. I'll get to tonight's Panthers-Saints game. College basketball, NBA, NHL, a free agent signing in baseball, and best bet. Let's just get right into it. We're starting with the NFL, obviously. The Titans defeat the Giants 17-0 to keep their playoff hopes alive. They're 8-6. Giants are 5-9. Marcus Mariota, bad game. 12-20 with 88 yards. But Derrick Henry stole the show. 33 carries, 170 yards, and two touchdowns. Eli Manning was bad, too. 21-44, 229 yards and a pick. Saquon Barkley, probably the worst game in his young career. 14 carries for 31 yards. The Falcons defeat the Cardinals 40-14. to Atlanta's 5-9, and nine, Arizona's 3-11. and 11. Matt Ryan, 22-36, 231 yards and two touchdowns. Josh Rosen, 13-22, 132 yards and two interceptions. The Bills defeat the Lions 14-13. As Buffalo improves to 5-9, and nine. Detroit drops to 5-9. and nine. Josh Allen, 13-26, 204 yards and a touchdown. Matthew Stafford, 22-29. 208 yards, and a touchdown. The Bears defeat the Packers 24-17. Big win for the Bears. They clinch the NFC North. Chicago improves to 10-4. Green Bay drops to 5-8-1. Mitchell Trubisky, 20-28, 235 yards and two touchdowns. Aaron Rodgers, 25-42, 274 yards, and an interception. The Bengals defeat the Raiders 30-16. Cincinnati goes to 6 and 8, Oakland drops to 3 and 11. Jeff Driscoll 14 of 33, 130 yards, a touchdown in the pick. Derek Carr 21 of 38, 263 yards and a touchdown. The Colts defeat the Cowboys 23 to nothing. Indy is 8 and 6, so is Dallas. Big win for Indy to keep their playoff hopes alive. 16 of 27, 192 yards. Dak Prescott 24 of 39, 206 yards and an interception. The Vikings defeated the Dolphins 41-17. Much needed win for the Minnesota Vikings. They're 7-6-1. Miami drops to 7-7. Kirk Cousins 14-21, 215 yards, two touchdowns and a pick. Ryan Tannehill 11-24, 108 yards. The Redskins upset the Jaguars 16-13. I actually picked the Redskins to win outright yesterday. They're 7-7 to keep their slim playoff hopes alive. Jacksonville drops to 4-10. Josh Johnson, 16-25, 151 yards and a touchdown. Cody Kessler, 9-17, 57 yards and a pick. That's embarrassing. Wouldn't it be Florida if Blake Bortles is starting next week? The Ravens defeat the Bucks 20-12. The Ravens are 8-6, the Bucks are 5-9. Lamar Jackson, 14-23, 131 yards and a touchdown. Along with, on the ground, 18 carries of... 95 yards. Jameis Winston, 13-25, 157 yards, and an interception. The 49ers upset the Seahawks, 26-23 in overtime. As San Francisco's 4-10, Seattle's 8-6. Nick Mullins, 20-29, 275 yards and a touchdown. Russell Wilson, 23-31, 237 yards, and two touchdowns. The Steelers defeat the Patriots, 17-10. Big win for the Steelers to keep their season alive. Pittsburgh is 8-5-1. New England drops to 9-5. Ben Roethlisberger, 22-34, of 34, 235 yards, 2 touchdowns, and 2 picks. Tom Brady, 25-36, of 36, 279 yards, a touchdown, and an interception, which was a brutal interception they threw to the ex-Brown, Joe Hayden, in the red zone, which I think cost the Patriots the game. And last but not least, a huge upset in Los Angeles as the Eagles upset the Rams 30-23. to Philly keeps their season alive. They're 7-7. Seven and seven. Rams drop to 11-3. Jared Goff, 35-54, 339 yards and two picks. Nick Foles, 24-31, 270 yards and a pick. I'm curious to see if how the Eagles do the rest of the way and if there's Ewing theory possibility with Carson Wentz with this team. Hmm. And tonight you have the Saints at the Panthers. The Saints are a six-point favorite. The Saints can move closer to a first-round bye and home-field advantage in the NFC playoffs. 
with a win here with the Bears sort of locked in in that 3-4 spot and the Rams struggling a little bit. But they would have clinched a bye if the Bears lost, so assuming they would have won this game. So you can't clinch a bye yet until next week because you needed a win and a Bears loss or a tie and a Bears loss for them to uh, clinch a first-round bye. So you need another week in order for them to do it, courtesy of the Chicago Bears' big win today. And another thing that I thought about is that with Dallas's loss and Chicago's win, Chicago seems poised to get the three seed. Dallas will be four. And it'll be... Seattle's not a lot for a five seed, especially after how they looked against the 49ers. All those penalties that cost them that game. They have a, a big one at home against Kansas City. And what I think is the most important game of their season. Because if they lose that game they can conceivably be jumped by the Minnesota Vikings for the sixth seed. And that was a big win for the Vikings today, or I'm sorry, yesterday, because that pretty much ensured them a little bit of breathing room in the NFC hunt, even though they have seven wins. Philly has seven wins. The Redskins have seven wins. Carolina can get the seven with the win tonight. But the thing that helps Minnesota is the fact that they tied rather than the fact that they lost to Green Bay in Week 2. But if they won that game, they'd still be the sixth seed because Seattle has the tiebreaker over them head-to-head. All right, let's move on to college basketball. Some interesting results yesterday. I'm just going to go through the, the scores, not going to do the records. Duquesne defeat Maine 72-46. Boston College defeat Fairfield 77-67. Rhode Island defeats West Virginia 83-70. From Wigan Sun, Sagaba Canante did not play. Mountaineers disappointing 6-4. Providence defeats Central Connecticut State 87-63. Stony Brook defeats Delaware 74-68. Vermont defeats Northeastern 75-70. Canisius defeats Elon 92-91. Niagara defeats Cornell 77-74. Fordham defeats Howard 74-67. Illinois State defeats Cleveland State 88-77 in overtime. Winthrop defeats Hawassi 109-66. Coastal Carolina defeats NC Central 69-65. 24 Houston defeats St. Louis 68-64. UCF defeats Stetson 90-65. Utah defeats UC Riverside 68-56. Troy defeats Western Kentucky 87-81. Tulsa defeats Dayton 72-67 in the Mohegan Sun. San Francisco defeats Cal State Fullerton 68-54. William & Mary defeats Will Peace 106-89. Bowling Green defeats Finlay 82-57. Loyola Chicago defeats Norfolk State 80-49. South Dakota defeats Colorado State 68-63. New Mexico defeats Central Arkansas 82-70. St. John's defeats Wagner 73-58. Hartford defeats Oakland 87-82. Number 9 Michigan State defeats Green Bay 104-83. TCU defeats Indiana State 90-70. UC Davis defeats William Jessup 83-65. Milwaukee defeats Wisconsin Lutheran 87-64. Ole Miss defeats Chattanooga 90-70. Pacific defeats Cal State Northridge 79-77. Drexel defeats Knippiak 92-83. Nebraska defeats Oklahoma State 79-56. Florida Gulf Coast defeats UMBC 76-53. Northern Kentucky defeats Miami of Ohio 72-66. And Hawaii defeats Mississippi Valley State 76-51. Tonight's slate at 7 o'clock you have Southeast Missouri State at number 10, Florida State. Davidson at Wake Forest. Number 20, Arizona State against Vanderbilt. Longwood against Cornell. High Point against North Carolina Wesleyan. Wellington, Delaware at Morgan State. 730, Gardner-Webb, Georgia Tech. Covenant at Lipscomb. Houston Baptist at Samford. 
8 o'clock, Texas Southern Tulane, Ball State Valparaiso, Florida A&M, Utah, SIU Edwardsville, Drake, Incarnate Word, UIC, Bethany and UTSA, 8.30, Cal Baptist and Southeast Louisiana, 9 o'clock, Chicago State at Northwestern, Northern Colorado at New Mexico State, North Dakota State at Montana, Western Illinois at Northern Illinois, Pepperdine at Oregon State, Begins the 10 o'clock slate. Seattle at Portland and Ryder against Washington State. NBA from yesterday. The Nets defeat the Hawks 144-127 to as Brooklyn improves to 13-18. Atlanta drops to 6-23. Fun thing about this game is that the New York Yankees is John Sterling called the play-by-play on the Yes Network yesterday. That was pretty darn cool. i got to admit that. The 76ers defeat the Cavaliers 128-105. Jimmy Butler back in the lineup. Phillies 20-11. Cleveland is 7-23. The Pacers defeat the Knicks 110-99. The Pacers are 20-10. The Knicks are 9-22. The Wizards defeat the Lakers 128-110. The Wiz are... 12 and 18. The Lakers are 18 and 12. The Kings defeat the Mavericks 120 to 113. The Kings are 16 and 13. Dallas is 15 and 13. The Heat defeat the Pelicans 102 96. The Heat go to 13 and 16. Big win for them. New Orleans drops to 15 and 16. And last but not least, the Nuggets defeat the Raptors 95 86. Denver 29. Toronto drops to 23 and 9. As Kyle Lowry did not play, neither did Pascal Siakam. Tonight's slate at 7 o'clock, you have the Bucks and the Pistons. 7.30, Suns, Knicks. 8 o'clock, NBA TV. Jazz Rockets. Kings, Timberwolves. Bulls, Thunder. 8.30, 76ers, Spurs. 10.30, NBA TV. Grizzlies, Warriors. And Trailblazers, Clippers. NHL. The Golden Knights defeat the Rangers 4-3 in overtime. Golden Knights go to 19-14-2. Rangers drop to 14-13-5. and Hurricanes defeat the Coyotes 3-0. Hurricanes 14-13-5. Arizona 14-16-2. The Flames destroy the Blues 7-2. Flames 22-10-2. St. Louis 12-15-4. The Sabres defeat the Bruins 4-2. Important win for the Sabres on the road. Sabres are 29 and 5. And Boston drops to 17, 12, and 4. The Sharks destroy the Blackhawks 7 to 3. San Jose 18, 11, and 5. Chicago 10, 19, and 6. The Jets defeat the Lightning 5 to 4 in overtime. The Jets are 22, 9, and 2. Tampa Bay 25, 7, and 2. The Canucks defeat the Oilers 4 to 2. The Canucks 16, 16, and 4, and Edmonton 18, 13, and 3. Right tonight, 5 Gamer. You have the Ducks at the Penguins, the Golden Knights at the Blue Jackets, those are at 7 o'clock. At 7 30, you have the Bruins at the Canadians, the Predators at the Senators, and 9 o'clock, you have the Islanders at the Avalanche. Before I give out my best bet, Wilson Ramos signed with the New York Mets on a two year, I believe it was a. $12 $12 million deal. So that all but takes them out of the JT Romuto sweepstakes. Wilson Ramos is a good catcher. And JT Romuto would have been an overpay. I'm sorry, it was two years, $19 million. So he'll be being paid $9.5 million a year. It's a good get for the Mets. It's an upgrade of over what they had at that position. But I think that most Mets fans wanted JT Romuto. Although the reality is that, that they probably would have had to give up some of their young prospects or young MLB assets to get him. And I think the Mets rightfully backed away because Michael Conforto could very well be a batting champion someday if he stays healthy. He could have been a part of that deal. 
Well, I'm not sure if a med Rosario is the answer at shortstop long term. He's facing a bit of a make or break year next year. He would have went to Miami in that deal. And the fact that they would have had to give up Conforto or maybe even Syndergaard to get Romuto wouldn't have been smart to say the least. But Syndergaard probably would have went to a third team like the Yankees. That wouldn't have went over well with the Met fans. But that said, Ramos is a good get. And at that price, pretty darn good. Because he's probably worth like $10 million or so. So a very busy offseason for Bertie Van Wagenen and the Mets. Last but not least, best bet of the day. This one is brought to you by FanDuel. 10-team parlay featuring the New Orleans Saints over the Carolina Panthers, the Oklahoma City Thunder, the Golden State Warriors, and in college basketball, Georgia Tech, Samford, Illinois, Chicago, Drake, North Dakota State, Northern Illinois, and Oregon State. Plus $18.95, wagering $5.74 to win $108.78 with a payout of $114.52. That is a big wager. And doing 10 teams that I think all have an excellent chance of winning is very good. I consider putting the Timberwolves on here at home against Sacramento. Sacramento's on the second of a back-to-back. But I don't trust Minnesota in a parlay like this. That's it for my podcast today. I'll be back tomorrow recapping the Monday night game between the Saints and the Panthers. College hoops, NBA, NHL, anything else that happens in the world of sports. And obviously my best bet. I hope you guys have a great day, everybody.